Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This begins the week of January 28th and it's time for another check-in and food prep video. So I'm gonna check in first with my weight and I'm going to add my glucose this year, uh, this week, my glucose numbers uh, for my diabetes. So my weigh-in this week is 179.6, so I went back a pound. But ironically, I did weigh myself on Wednesday I try not to weigh myself throughout the week because I know weight can fluctuate, but the scale said 173.9. So, um, could be retaining a lot of water, but today it was 179.6, which is down a pound from last week. And my glucose numbers were very, very high, uh, 361. Now, before you guys <clears throat> gasp. Um, they're usually between uh, five and six hundred, which I know, I know, it's, it's very dangerous levels. But uh, the insulin uh, has not worked, and the medication has not worked. So I'm trying some natural, uh, nat natural remedies to try to see what I can do, and hopefully with this, uh, this fit by fifty program, um, I could shed some pounds that would also help uh, lower my numbers as well. So the two numbers for this week are one seventy nine point six, which is my weight and then 361 which was my sugar glucose level uh, that aside this week was a little bit better than last week um, it was actually a lot better than last week however I forgot this is the season of Girl Scout cookies and I love my Thin Mints so you have to wonder why I bought $28 worth of Girl Scout cookies because I don't want anybody touching my Thin Mint so I bought my husband the kind of cookies that he likes and I bought my granddaughter the kind of cookies that she likes so they don't mess with my cookies so um but I am doing okay with the cookies last last year I ate a whole box in one sitting I know I know um but um, I'm doing better this this month this uh this year with the cookies and then also the meal prep the meal prep went actually very well compared to last year uh compared to last week because last week I had a lot of leftovers this week the only thing that I had left over were a couple of the snack packs which was the uh, bell peppers and the hummus and uh, actually it was just the bell peppers because bell peppers because if you guys remember I had run out of hummus and I never went back to the store to get any more but this week I'm going to be making my own hummus and um, let's see I didn't eat too much off of my diet this week with or last week with the exception me and my husband did a lot of errands yesterday or Saturday ran a lot of errands and we made the big mistake of leaving home without eating which is a big no-no especially if you're going to a grocery store we went to Walmart food line Costco so we ended up stopping by Wendy's to grab a chicken sandwich. Um, and then yesterday was my cheat day and we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. And ironically, I tried to eat the wings, but I got sick. And at first I didn't think it was the wings. So I settled down, felt better and ate another wing and I got sick again. So it was the wings. So needless to say, I gave the wings away uh, to Papa to my husband and um, but besides that it was a pretty good week so I'm, I'm getting better and better it's not perfect and it's not going to be perfect for a while but I'm working up to where I want to uh, the level I want to be on so I am just uh, thinking this week is going to be a better week now where I did have a big fail this week is this last week is that I did not do any exercise, you guys. I did no exercise. Um, I'm not going to even make any excuses. I just did not do any exercises. I can say I was so busy, but I could have probably tried to find time in my schedule. But point blank, I didn't do any working out. But that's going to change this, this week, and I'm going to tell you why. Not only is it going to change because I need to do it, uh, it's going to change also because my husband had his physical, his annual physical this week, this past week, and it was not so good. So he too will be joining us on the Fit by 50 program next week. So I've given him an entire week to get whatever he needs to get out of his system 
to eat whatever it is that he thinks he needs to eat uh, because come Monday or actually come next Sunday he is on this program with me we're going to be exercising together we're going to be eating the same foods and actually this week we're going to start eating some of the same foods but uh, starting next Sunday he is officially the mister in the fit by 50 program so um, I'm going to go ahead let me see here is there anything else I need to update you guys on I don't think there's anything else that I need to update you guys on if there is I will if I remember it I will put it at the end of the food prep video um, but I just want to give you guys a words of encouragement to go ahead and just do it uh, if you and I always tell my clients this uh, if you put off today Put off tomorrow how do you how's that go if you put off tomorrow what you could do today then you're going to be 10 years from now saying the same thing that you're saying today i should have started then so go ahead and get started it does not have to be perfect just go ahead and just get started and and, and do the best you can until you get until you get better and if you have to do like i'm doing seek help you know i'm not doing this by myself i need um uh encouragement and support of my family and friends you know, I go online and I find things. I watch Dr. Oz and those types of shows. I research uh, Google and f to find out what's, what's trending and what's not. You know, I was taking the Invicon I told you guys about. And my, um, my doctor took me out of, off of it because they uh, have been linked to amputation. And actually, the insurance company no longer is paying for it. And I just got an email saying there's a class action lawsuit uh, in it. And so I have to check out and see what's going on with that. But, um, yeah, so I, I mean, you, you, you research the web, the medications that your doctor is putting you on. Um, you know, see what the side effects are. That's very important that you know the side effects. Because if the side effects outweigh the purpose of you taking the drug, you don't need to take it. And for me, the Invokana, the, the uh, insulin, and I'll just say I'll take the insulin every now and then if my sugar does get to 500 or even if it gets to 400, 500, 600, I'm taking it because I'm not a hospital type person. I'm not going to the hospital until the last minute. So that has side effects and all the other medications I am and were taking has side effects. And to me, the risks far outweigh the, the reason for why I'm taking them. So this is another reason why I'm looking for um, natural remedies to heal my ailments. So... Um, I will say my fibromyalgia did not act up last week. However, my arthritis did for some reason. I have real bad back pain and, and then uh, my knees as well. And I think because it's raining and I don't care what you guys say, especially if you live in the South, your parents told you, oh, my knees are hurting because, or it's getting ready to rain because my knees, my knees are hurting. They could predict the weather kind of. I'm sorry, that stuff is true. I know when it's getting ready to rain or getting ready to snow or whatever because my body starts hurting. So it's a very, a very good predictor. So you guys can laugh all you want to, but it actually is true. Um, what else do I want to say? So I just want to give you guys what the menu is going to be for this coming week. We are going to have a shrimp zucchini salad. And the original recipe that I got from... Um, Clean Food Crush, Clean Food, yeah, CleanFoodCrush.com. Shout out to Clean Food Crush. You can find her. I don't know her exact name, but she's on Instagram. Unfortunately, I could not find a YouTube channel, but she is on Facebook and YouTube. But you can go to CleanFoodCrush.com, and she has a lot of great clean food recipes, and she posts them every now and then on Instagram. But she has a lot on her face on her uh, website. So shout out to her. I'll put her link in the, the description box below. Uh, but she just had it plain. And then she did say that she, you can put it over rice or quinoa. And I think we're going to put ours over broccoli rice. Not broccoli rice. Cauliflower rice. And that's going to be one meal. And then we're going to have salmon with kale and brown rice. And then the third meal that I'm going to kick the third meal that I'm going to cook now mind you that each meal is going to last two days so that's why I'm only cooking three meals um, because we're doing six days of meal prep for everyone so on the last end of the last stretch of the meals we're going to I'm going to be cooking pork chops potatoes 
and uh, broccoli for my husband and my granddaughter. And for me, I'm just going to probably have salad because I am uh, only allowed to have meat twice uh, a week. So I'm going to have salad with probably some black beans in it. And I'll do that. And then I found a recipe for hummus. So I'm going to make the basis of the hummus and then kind of add my own twist to it because I like spicy hummus. So um, I'm going to make some hummus. And um, you guys will see in the video the different snacks. But it's going to be basic fruits and vegetables that I will have. And breakfast, I think I'm going to do, uh, I'll stick with the oatmeal, um, the oatmeal bowls. And I actually had bought some mason jars to do the, uh, the overnight oats in the, but I can't find them. So maybe I'll go back and get me some more. Uh, and maybe I'll do that next week. But right now it's going to be the oatmeal bowls. And then, uh, the second thing I'm going to have for breakfast is going to be avocado toast with a boiled egg. So avocado, <coughs> avocado toast, I love so much so that's going to be two days and then the other two days are going to be the uh smoothies the fruit smoothies so there you have it we the meat we've got um uh, salmon so for me it's going to be salmon shrimp and beans for my three meals my three dinners and my three breakfasts are going to be avocado toast oatmeal bowls and fruit smoothies and then for lunch I think I'm just going to stick to salads with maybe boiled hard-boiled eggs um, just to make it simple um, and what I'm going to do this week so you guys will know I'm going to separate the preparation of the meals from the actual food prep video only because last week it was like an hour long even after I cut a lot of it out so I know that's a long time to be sitting and watching so I'm going to try to make it convenient for you guys so you guys can like watch it in chunks and just go to the parts that you need but let me go ahead without further ado and get this meal on the road talk to you guys soon
done cooking all the food, at least all the food that I'm going to cook, um, I made some hummus with chickpeas and then I said earlier I was going to do smoothies. I'm not going to do the smoothies. I'm going to have avocado toast and oatmeal. So those are going to be my, my breakfast and you guys really don't need to see all that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started uh, showing you how I uh, prepare my, or actually I've already prepared it, but how I um, uh, plate and divide my meals for the week. So here we go. So I'm going to start with the first two days, which is tonight and tomorrow, which is going to be the shrimp and zucchini salad over over cauliflower rice. <laughs> That's it, cauliflower rice. So let me go ahead and get started with that. So what I need to do is fix six bowls of the first meal because it's for two nights and there's three of us. So let me start with that. done for Sunday and Monday night for all three of us. So next I'm going to start with the meals for Tuesday and Wednesday. And they're going to vary because my husband and my granddaughter are going to have pork chops. That's going to be a meatless day for me so I'm just going to have a salad with some garbanzo beans. So I'll go ahead and get that prepared. dinner for Thursday and Friday and that's going to be salmon, brown rice, and cabbage. So I made the last uh, dinner uh, with the salmon and the cabbage. I did not add rice to my second day meal, which would be Saturday, because carbs are not my friend. So uh, I'm only going to have that one time, and then I was going to have meat and vegetables. Now, last, not lastly, second to lastly, 
I'm going to fix my lunches, which I said before, it's going to be nothing but salad. And what I may do, um, I may add tuna, just depends on what I'm feeling like. Otherwise, the, lunch, the salad is just going to be my lunches. So that should be pretty simple. Okay, lastly folks is going to be my snacks and I'm only going to do three of my snacks here because the other three are the um, is the uh, hummus that I made that's sitting in the fridge and I uh, bought some uh, a vegetable mix which is carrots broccoli and cauliflower that I can use to dip and then also um, I'll use fruit uh, over there so that's going to be my snack so let me go ahead and do this very quickly I love olives. The uh, black ones have about, they have no carbs. So I can have as many as I want. Same thing with the green olives. They have no uh, carbs. Now the green olives have a, a ton of sodium. The black olives are considered part of um, one of those healthy fats. So it, 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 it's good for you. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just go back on what I just said here because I obviously can't count. I need snacks for six, oops, excuse me, six days. So, you guys, I didn't do this, but that's fine. So two days, I'm gonna have olives, then I'm gonna have fruit, and then I'm gonna have the hummus, and I'll just interchange those with the morning and the evening snack. And then my dessert, which is twice a week. I have uh, some low fat sherbet and I'll just have a cup of that on those two nights. So um, I think my cheat day on Saturday might just not necessarily be a cheat day or maybe I'll just eat the rest of those Girl Scout cookies that are back there. But folks, there you have it. That is this week's uh, food prep for the week of January the 28th. Yes, the 28th, and I will put all the stats and everything, all the information to the food in the description box below, um, and hopefully this was a little bit better for you guys. I haven't decided if I'm going to put the, the meal prep video, the actual meal prep that I did back there, separate, uh, or if I'm going to put it in this video and just speed it up like I did with these right here, but I think I may do it that way. Uh, so the video is not that long. So, but anyway, I hope you guys have a good week. Remember, you can do it. Get your water in daily. Get your uh, apple cider vinegar in in the morning and in bedtime. Get that oolong tea in and get your exercise in and stay positive, folks. And I will see you guys next week. Talk to you soon. So there you have it. That's what it looks like once you get it all together. And I'm sorry for the Sloppy presentation, but again, my sister's tired. I'm going to bed. So here you have it. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.